guys! So I'm here today. I'm going to be testing out the new Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. I have it in 310 Butterscotch and it runs for about $10. I'm going to be doing a full day's wear test and in a second you'll see me applying it and I will go throughout my day with you. So please like and subscribe down below and let's get started. Like I said earlier, this runs for $10. I have it in 310 Butterscotch, but you only get 0.75 fluid ounces. So I always compare it to my normal foundations, which are 1 fluid ounces. So it is a little less than the normal product you usually get. And it is in this little tube. Not for sure how I like these little tubes, because once you start running out of product, you're going to have to open it or at least cut it. So not for sure how I'm going to like that once I get through more of it. So it's supposed to give you a natural finish, anti-pollution foundation, and it has anti-blue light ingredients. That probably helps with the photo-ness of it. I will take a flash photo test and see how that looks. And it's called a medium buildable coverage, natural finish. I don't know if I agree with that. It is pretty good coverage, but I don't know if I'd call it medium. I'd probably call it a light to medium foundation for me personally. I'm excited to see how it wears throughout the day. I haven't tried a Revlon foundation in a long time. The last one I tried was the the Color Stay one. I t that was the last one I tried, the Color Stay in the matte version, and that was a long time ago. I'll link that down below and up in the cards. I'm going to test this out throughout the day. I'm going to have over 8 hour day wear with this and see how it is. Yeah, so now we can go to the clip of me applying it and now we'll go to the clip of me applying it and my thoughts after I applied it. Okay, I will go put on the rest of my makeup and let you know my overall thoughts of this so far. Okay guys, so I'm back. I do love how it looks on my skin, but I'm still working on my skin because I had a breakout and I'm still trying to get through that. So overall, I think it's good, but it's not the full coverage that I usually do, but I do like that it's more of a lighter coverage. So I'm going to wear it throughout the day and see how it works. I'm going to go into work at 3.30. It is 2.30 right now. So I will probably try to update you halfway through work, and then I definitely will update you once I get back and let you know how it did. So far, I do like the application. I love how natural it looks, and I definitely will probably use this a lot in the summer for my looks and stuff, but... Overall, I think it's pretty good for the price so far, so let's see how it does throughout the day. Here's a close-up look of what it looks like. So I will check in later throughout the day and let you know how it does. Okay, here's what it looks like outdoors. Don't mind my annoying face. But yeah, I think it looks good so far. The coverage is pretty good like overall I still have the sparkle on my face I do not know how to get that off overall I do like it it matches pretty well and I am gonna go into work right now so I will see you at work so I'm gonna set this here I'm on break I need to go shopping for Valentine's Day but as you can see, I'm getting a little oily. I'm not going to blot or anything throughout the night and see how oily it can get. And because I'm at work and I don't really care. But so far, I do really like it. I think the coverage is good from far away. Overall, I do like this foundation so far. Okay, what is that? See how it wears throughout the night more. But overall, I do actually really like it. I like the natural finish. 
and I feel like it is a medium coverage, light to medium, I would say personally for me, and I could have built it up more, but I'm getting a little oily, obviously, and kind of sweaty because today's very busy. It's the day before Valentine's Day, and I didn't realize how busy it's going to be, so it is pretty busy. But yes, we'll keep going. I don't know if that's like a streak or just like the lighting, but yes, so far this is what it looks like. And I like it so far, and let's keep going throughout my day. It is 6.30, so it's been on for a little over four hours, and I'm going to keep it on for over eight hours and see how it wears. So I will vlog a little bit of my shopping, and I will see you in a bit. Okay guys, so I'm at lunch. It is 8.17, so it's been on now for six hours, and I think it looks the same, so I'm going to keep going throughout the day. It hasn't been as busy anymore, so that's good, and yeah, just overall, I do like it, and I will tell you my overall thoughts and rating at the end of the night, so I will see you then. But wine is still here and I'm very confused what it is, but it's okay. Okay guys, so I'm back. It is 11 o'clock. I've had it on for almost about 9 hours. In the next 30 minutes it would be 9 hours, so yes, I haven't blotted all day either. And I'm really not too bad, so that's really great. And I do, however, like it overall. I like the coverage. It is, it's not as full as coverage as I usually am used to, and I do like the shade match. But yeah, overall, I do like this foundation. The price is really great, $10 for a little less than a full ounce. But I think that's really good for the, the drugstore. Like I said, though, the packaging really isn't my favorite when it's in these little tubes. But that's okay. I'll deal with that. But I plan on keeping this and using it a lot more often, especially in the summer because it's more of a lighter coverage. I do have some acne here that I'm trying to get rid of, so that's annoying. But overall, I do really like this foundation. It covers well. I like the shade range they have for the most part. Price is great. So overall, out of five stars, I rate it about a, I would say four. Best foundations I've found so far are from the drugstore, which is interesting. Because my other favorite one is the Maybelline, oh, I don't have it. The Maybelline Superstay or something like that. With the one with the white cap, that was my ultimate favorite. It's full coverage, I love it. But this is a nice to go a little less full coverage and more natural throughout the day. This is more medium coverage, I guess, I would say. I do love full coverage, so I do like this, but this is probably, like, the least amount of coverage I would like from a foundation. I don't think I would do well with, like, cushion foundations because it's just so light of a coverage. Maybe in the summer, but I still wear full coverage then, too, so we'll see then. But I'm super excited to be trying out a whole bunch of new foundations. It's super fun, and I like to do more of the wear tests. Like we did back then on YouTube, not like I was on it, but when I saw first impressions and stuff, I'm super into those. I am excited to try out more foundations. Please comment down below any more foundations you want me to try out. I am kind of looking at the L'Oreal one, but that one's kind of past my mind. I am kind of waiting for a concealer that's coming out by Natasha Denona, so that will be high price, but I do really want to try it. It says it's coming in spring 2019. We'll keep you updated. So I want to try out that soon, but just comment down below any other foundations, concealers, any products you want me to review and do first impressions on, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, guys!